I'm playing Empire Total War, as you can see. Um, this got released this week for Linux, support done by Feral Interactive, a, a London company. So I think previously did the Mac version. They do allow the Mac ports anyway. This is the second Linux port that I'm aware of. Um, now, what I quite often uh, mention in these videos, don't expect me to be any good at these games. This goes double for this sort of game. I'm really not very good at all. Uh, I've done the tutorials and uh, let's see, let's go for easy. Go for it. Do the tutorials, managed to get them to work. I tried this last night and I got well spanked. So, it's basically a uh, real time strategy type deal. I'm going to be the British. Let's fight the Austrians. Going for it. So I understand it, there are several games in the series. Um, this one was released originally in 2009, but what we're all hoping is that because the engine is now ported, um, as long as this game is successful, there will be very little obstacle to porting the rest in the series. Uh, I probably won't buy the rest in the series, because I'm not really good anyway. But uh, I bought this one to show Willie. I played it a bit. The radar map a bit. allows you an aerial view of the battlefield, uh, detailing the position of units. Use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in or out. You can grab the map and move it around by mousing over it, holding the left mouse button down, then moving the mouse around. Okay, good to know. So. This is, these are all my troops here. You can see them also. If I select them here, if I double click, it's, yeah, there we go, it zooms into them. The enemy troops are over here somewhere. Now, what was that? Yes, you can turn. Straight. You can go up and down. You can change the angle. I'm fairly sure that I can zoom in and out of it. But anyway, right. So this is the initial part of the battle. This is a land battle, obviously. As you saw earlier, there are sea battles as well, which seem uh, quite entertaining. I'm just going to... Well, let's, let's just get started. The special abilities buttons are found in the bottom right corner of the screen. These turn on any special formations or abilities a selected unit has available to it. The button is disabled for those units without specialist skills. Okay, so that's a specialist skill, I presume. Wedge formation, cool. So, what I can do is uh, move my horses over here got to run, young man uh, can I set these people to fire at will? I'll go fire it well, okay. So where did my horses go?
Okay. Let's move these foot alongside my these people. Oh. I don't know why they're off over there. Probably wrong for me. The general gives confidence to the troops that are nearby. But if your general gets captured, Troops become uh, disheartened. Is that the word? Uh. Clicking on the melee button in the bottom right of the screen will lock the selected melee capable units into melee mode. All attack orders will result in a hand to hand attack Good until tonight. you click on the melee button again. Attacking pikemen or bayonet-equipped infantry in the flanks is a good way of taking them on with cavalry. You should always avoid charging onto sharp, pointy weapons that can be braced. Let's see how that works out. Alright, what's going on over here? Oh, see, they're running away. Because I ignored them. See what these lads can do. Let's attack these people. The flashing unit banner means the morale of their troops is wavering. Before long, they'll break from combat and rout from the field. Yeah, Take this opportunity to charge their ranks with cavalry or infantry with bayonets fixed. The battle is over when all troops in an army are routed or killed. Oh, 
Some horses are dead. Let's go after them. Go. That's uh, my. Let's get back behind my soldiers with the general there. Charge. Where's my artillery? A limber artillery. Ah, yeah, that's a limber. Let's go up here. We're moving. Seem like I've got them in retreat. Hey, we've got left. All right, let's go and meet these guys. So yes, as you can see, if I set things on easy, I can cope, people are running away, I won, woohoo, so, as far as I'm aware, that's basically the game, uh, the sea battles are also quite interesting, obviously you have to turn the side of your boat to shoot at, at the ships, because that's where all the cannons are, and you can also then take the ship uh, by boarding it if you disable it by shooting a mass down. Uh, there are various campaigns which I've not investigated yet, which let you, uh, you know, going through, you can fight the uh, American War of Independence and various stuff like that. It's all set in the sort of 19th century. And it seems quite a detailed simulation of, of you know, actually commanding a battlefield, which is, you know, why I'm not very good at it. But if you're into uh, real time strategy games, Especially uh, historic ones like this. What's that? Save replay. Let's see what that does. File name. First win. Excellent. Yeah, so if you're into real time strategy, definitely check it out. Uh, probably I'll need to figure out what to do with them. Um, with horse. 
Yes, yeah, so I lost most of my horses, but I did kill a few people with them. My light infantry, definitely. Light infantry doing all the work there. Excellent. So yeah, that's the game. Like, like real-time strategy? Check it out.